tricked by the light. Alright, I think that's it here. Alright, plain riddle solved. Good, another flare. Wonder if I'll be needing it soon. Oh, no. So that shit coming. God! What are you, a fucking Naruto ninja? Get the fuck out of here! I think maybe that's what he thinks he is. Ow! God damn. Yeah, I am good at dodging except for when I'm not. It's... Brace from Rio. It's almost like when they, they jump out of nowhere and I can't see them until it's too late. Or, or when they do the fucking super uh, slice and dice slap chop bullshit. these generators are just randomly out here yeah it's nice <laughs> like there's no there's nothing out here that would you that they would need that for just the light all right where's chainsaw redneck come on i found the page i know he's here I'm not gonna lie, I'm real disappointed the chainsaw noise didn't start just immediately after we got that page. Ugh. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. It was. I think I threw a hammer at me. Yeah, you did. No, you didn't miss too much. It was, um... Uh, I got a trophy for dodging and then I didn't... Oh, no! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Our, our brutal rider knees. Well... No, I'm, I'm okay. Now. Or maybe, maybe I'm not. Alan, come on! We live here now. No, I don't. <laughs> That's the most realistic thing I've seen so far in this game. You just duck into the water in the Pacific Northwest, you're dead. <laughs> is the water this again? Is the water that bad? It's just cold. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. At least I didn't <laughs> like fucking 
glitch it. What? Where am I supposed to go? What? Alan. Alan, you suck. Oh, there's a door. Maybe inside. What the? Fuck you! What a cow pad of darkness. I love that there's just black puddles of goo on the ground. Nuclear sock. Just fucking sack taps me and it's like, whoops, sorry. Bit that hurt. Yeah, no, I see you now. Get the fuck out of here. Reminds me of those things in uh, Callisto Protocol. Remember the things that would jump out and, and grab me by the neck? Oh, yeah, those things. That there was no way for me to dodge them until it was too late? Yep. Which way is Critical Path? Is this way Critical Path? No. Maybe. I don't know. Manuscript page. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Deputy Mulligan. There we go. Oh, ma manuscript page. Yeah. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow on they were changed, Like on the channel crank. had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started no, attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised. Just terrified. Behind us. Maybe that's oh, I can deal with the nuclear cow yeah. pat. Yep. But it, was there a sparkle behind us? Well, it's behind us now again. Just like on the floor by the barrel in the corner. Not that barrel, the one behind us. That one. Okay, no. no. It was just a the way the light. weird reflection. Yep. Now I'll take these. Coffee! Coffee. Like coffee's a collectible. I go up there. You know what'd be great is if there real if there wasn't to do with the chainsaw. I mean that would be pretty good, but uh. Like, just keep stringing us along, and then no chainsaw. We're playing a, a horror game in the Pacific Northwest. There's got to be a dude with a chainsaw. Yeah, and there's like a lot of logging stuff. Yeah. I'm sure that's fine. That's probably fine. Be aware of what awaits. Well, this guy doesn't have a chainsaw. Nope. But he's wearing hearing protection, though. I must oh, know the guy with the chainsaw. Wow. I dodged too. I got caught on the, the topography. Ball, go down. There we go. That was a big one. He, yeah. took, he took a lot of bullets. Bunged him right up. Ugh. Good, give me more rifle bullets for Chainsaw Man. Aha! Ooh! 
Shadows stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. You know who Al path had brought You know who him. Alan Wake sounds like? It just it just occurred to me. Who? With these over the top dramatic readings and whatnot. Mm -hmm. He sounds like Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh my god. <laughs> well. <laughs> Rio, I'm not wrong, am I? <laughs> Can't believe you've just ruined this game for Rio. <laughs> I think I made it better. No, she hates it. Look. <laughs> She's writing in all caps. <laughs> Chaos control. God. <laughs> I'm just, for the rest of this game, I'm just going to picture everything being narrated as Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> What does that make Barry? That's Barry is clearly Sonic. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. Good thing I was over here when that happened. Sonic would wear that jacket. Oh hey! Not a good time to get caught on the... No! Alright. Oh! Oh, I felt that one. Alright, that's enough. Whee! Look at him go. Ugh, fuck those guys. Okay, I could see Barry being a vector. Absolutely. Either that or we go full team dark and he's Omega. Chainsaw dude's gonna show up. This looks kind of like a chainsaw dude arena. Oh, there it is. There it we is. Him. We found him, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this multiples. He's brought friends. All right, well. Uh-oh. I can almost start doing damage to him. There we go. Boom. That was so hard. Out of flares, though. Eh. That's what the flares are for, though. Good use of a flare. That chainsaw could have been a problem. It could have been, but he didn't even get to me. Yeah. Hey, remember the chainsaw guy from The Evil Within? I tried not to. Yeah. That was some shit. God. What a S fucking game. Still gotta play Evil Within 2. Do you, though? I mean, I have it. Maybe I'll play it one day. Maybe one day. I still have, I, I have to do the DLC for Evil Within 1 so I get the rest of the fucking story. Oh, so you can get the actual story? Oh, Rio's excited. She wants us to play it. What, Evil Within 2? Sounds like it. Alright, well, I mean, we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll get to it. We have such a wealth of, of games to dip into. It's, it's actually kind of great. 
sometimes you're not I, hurting for games to play. Sometimes I worry. I'm like, you know, maybe maybe we went a little too niche with a cult receivable. But then like I, I just go into Steam and I'm like, no, there's so many fucking games. There's so many games. That that absolutely fall into the, the horror mystery puzzle category. Mm-hmm. You know what would be, I, I think, a game that I think I'm going to stream is uh, the Talos Principle. Okay. I mean, that's a, that that's pure puzzle, but uh, it had, it's got me, giving me some witness vibes. Barry? Sure, okay. The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I, crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Stay hidden. Stay safe. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna do against the birds, Alan? I still had to reach Barry at the cab, but at least I was out of the woods. I gotta go fast. Oh my god. <laughs> if, if only I had the power to control this chaos. <sighs> I made this game better. Don't 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 sigh in exasperation. <laughs> <sighs> the FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in. Let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct. His posture. The way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears. I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness. I beyond. leaped? I leaped? I was just thinking, like, I, I leaped? I leapt. You're a writer, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly you're a writer, not a reader. I leaped into action as the ultimate life form. God. <laughs> Strap in for however many more hours of this. <laughs> Rio, I'm so glad you're here with me. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. <laughs> I really can't not hear Shadow the Hedgehog now. <laughs> I need the garage key to get to the car. Ooh, original character, do not steal. Oh, if only. All right, I have to find the keys. Can I go through here? Probably not. The garage key had to be yeah, somewhere You're going to take nearby. the car through. All right, I got to find the keys. Uh, probably be in here, you would think. I mean, but this is bad. That would make sense. Hey, another tire swing. Uh -oh. Well, I mean, it's just oh. the toilet. What's that noise? Oh, here we go. I was right. A story is not a machine oh. that does ah, the TV. It. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. I don't even know what to say to that. Oh, Jesus! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sick dodge, bro. That was like 10 sick dodges. No, he's not gonna follow you out. What, you're not coming out? Oh, maybe because the light there. Well, maybe. It doesn't look like a special light, though. It's not like pooling on the ground. No. Alright, whatever. I get to save ammo. It's fine by me. Why are the headlights on? I don't know. <laughs> Who turned it on? Well, the keys must be in there. This is just to unlock the gate. <gasps> oh, 
drive. Uh, okay. Now we have the ultimate weapon. A car! Off-road. Okay, here we go. I guess. I don't know. Maybe I deal with these guys. I wish it wouldn't do flip around when I'm trying to, like, back up. It throws me off. Yeah. One sturdy vehicle. Oh no! <laughs> as soon as you say that, there we go. Rusty. The gate. No. Nope. Well, Breakable I, gate. I guess I can just get out now. I leave my car. It's smoking. I love yeah, it. I'm sure that's not good. Uh, what is hurting my car? That's a very good question. I can't tell. Is it the fucking wire? It's way over there. Or is it just the debris? Car died. It, it died on nothing. Yep. That's all right. I know where I gotta go. No, there was no black snot. There was nothing. The car had driven as as far as it wanted to go. Here we go. Well, we couldn't drive down the staircase anyway. Yeah, that's why I was like, I know where I'm going now, now anyway. Yeah, it looked like we had plenty of room to get by the wire, so... The mystery. Eh. It's fine, though. Copy! Oh. I feel alive again. Wait, did I just go in a big fucking circle? I think I just went in a big fucking circle. Yep. Okay. Hey. Uh, 
hey, you know what? Oh, can I take this car? Oh my god, I can! Wonderful. Alright, so... Where do I go? Now where do we go? <laughs> the uh, the Shadow the Hedgehog comparisons continue. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, I ha it has to be over here. There's something. There's got to be something here. Oh wait. Oh. Ah. The off-road tracks. Perfect. go. Ah, checkpoint. What the fuck was that? Just a dramatic... Uh-oh. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Um... Um... Whoa, hey! Why did he just say that? What? The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Ah, fuck. I saw that coming too. I was too busy doing that. CQC! That's enough of that shit. That's enough of that shit. Gotta get to my beloved Barry. Sweet, sweet Barry. We can hold hands and take comfort in each other's company. I can bury my face in his puffy ski jacket and loud mm -hmm. Hawaiian shirt. Yep. Okay, I looted this place already. Yes, I also like that we went on a journey to find a car just to drive a few feet up the road. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. I don't listen. want her! I mean... I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Well, shit, now I gotta do something. I didn't tell him I had writer's block. Oh, no. Shit. Maybe if I go to the police and tell them I have writer's block, they'll help me. I've really backed myself into a corner now. Barry had talked about I can't go to the police. The Is Barry crying about the birds? Do I just I hear him so. sob? Yeah, it sounds like it. I mean, Barry, dude, you're inside. Just like. Have okay, a this would freak me the fuck out, though. That is a lot of birds. They are. They're gonna shit all over this house. It's true. Do I have to fight the birds? Oh my god. I do! 
Oh, it's just like the Flock of Keys in Legend of Zelda. Yeah, but you didn't like that. Get on it, Barry. Make him go away, please. Please. Oh, no, oh, there's more. Damn, there's a lot. Yeah, I hear birds. You can open the door now. They're gone. Hey, Al. I'm. I'm. Oh, look at you, you having a big pussy. <laughs> That's okay. I still I love you, buddy. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. I'll just bullshit something. I'm like a DM writing a session the night before. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Make no mistake, I'm coming for you, Eggman. <laughs> Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. She sounds totally normal. Have yeah, she sounds day. perfectly normal. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old year diner. Good girl. Thanks, Grandma. I did my best. <laughs> Do you think he bought it? <laughs> That's kind of delightful. I like this little, this pull out here. I know. There's so many good things about this game. It's so ridiculous. I love the soundtrack too. Remedy yeah. games have some of the best soundtracks. It's really good. I need to get my bearings. <laughs> All right. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Ooh, episode three, How ransom. Did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway. 
I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Why? Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. My name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. Perhaps you've heard of me? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Why is there a boat anyway, there? There was an island there owned by a guy Where else called would you put your boat? Zane. You know, Some of the articles you got I me. About him make him out to be a famous <laughs> writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Wow. That sounds like ridiculous horse shit. <laughs> inspect boat. In wait, inspect boat. Rio says inspect boat. I mean, inspect yeah, the boat. How about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. That's wild. That's rad. That's rad. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. I was looking at a boat. A boat that shouldn't be here. It's like the hand of God just picked it up and put it down on the ground. What an interesting twist. Someone should write a book about it. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The Scratchin' Hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. The Scratchin' Hag? Ow. I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Why are you showing us the dumpsters, yeah. sir? And she had oh, he's clearing the birds away. Oh. I'm gonna show you where she lives, nice girl, in this dumpster. It's a nice dumpster. Rent's real low. Always pays her rent on time in this dumpster. I'd like to do her a favor. Well, mister, this I'm is a pretty Rose's magnanimous trailer. landlord. Do you mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Buddy, you should have asked that before you showed them yeah, where she lived. Before we took the long tour of the trailer park. Uh, coffee. I see coffee. I see coffee. Let me in. You gotta knock. You gotta be a polite boy. That's a door? Oh, I Welcome see. Okay. to, to, oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, oh yes, yes, please wow. come in. You sound completely normal. This coffee's hey, delicious. This is really good. <laughs> Rose. Yes. <laughs> my manuscript, I really need it. I understand. I know what you need, a muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey, Al? Al, what's... Oh. Barry! Great job, Barry. My what? special arsenic coffee. I hope you liked it. What did you put in the coffee? Ugh. 
pours the coffee on his head. <laughs> That'd be amazing. It's coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Hey, Granny Cheese. <laughs> turn the light on. Back to work, boy. <sighs> this game is so wild. <laughs> Is this I Rose's felt nauseous, bedroom? hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary. Barry is still out by the yep. table. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I like I that she's not a mammoth plushie from the um, the than natural history museum yeah. thing. Complex incantation I'm attempting about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. What was the what was the mammoth's name? Uh, Bucktooth or something? Something Charlie. Bucktooth. Bucktooth Charlie. Bucktooth Charlie. She's got all my books. She's got all of my, I guess, uh, teen heartthrob magazine photos. Damn. That's normal. She has a mobile hanging from her lamp. You know, the horse and the bird and this. Okay. That, I don't, that doesn't make sense. This sure does look like a, the bedroom a of an adult me. woman. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. I'm sure nothing's wrong with this coffee. Cooking with corn? 72 tasty recipes? No shit! Oh my god. Look, never Seven, get hungry again. 72? 72 recipes with corn? Impossible. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. Barry was hey, Barry. Out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Wow. You're right. Deserve more money. Okay. Hey. So handsome. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Mm. Coffee. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Sure, tell me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Come back soon. Caught the carpet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a trailer. It's a trailer, but like, just, you know, rip up the carpet and put down some vinyl. That is... Especially in your kitchenette. This is a, this is a choice. Yeah. Choices were made. Yeah, like, basically from, like, here in should just be vinyl. Yeah. I like the breakfast nook. It's nice. This is how we know we're, we're old. <laughs> just, we comment on, like, things like that. My gun and flashlight were gone. Of course they were. I had to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Okay, well, the police are coming. Maybe they can help us get Barry in the car. <laughs> Officer, I know what you're thinking, but she drugged us, and now I need to go meet the person who kidnapped my wife and give him a manuscript that I haven't written but tells the future. <laughs> then they give me the drug test after I, I woke up from having the drug coffee, 
And it's just all t- kinds of red flags. There's a radio in this area. Mm-hmm. 